Hi folks, Ray from LoveYourRV.com and I'm not in the desert anymore. No, I'm totally surrounded by water now. Uh, we've finally made our way to the west coast and we're heading up the 101 highway along on the Oregon coast on our way back to BC. And a favorite stop of ours is called Bandon. And uh, there's a beautiful state park called Bullard's Beach State Park which we've pulled the rig into. And we're going to camp a few days here. Um, in this video, I'll give you a look at the campground and the, a little bit around the state park. Uh, we'll also go into the little town of Bandon. There's a really cool old town area. Lots of little shops and restaurants. Really picturesque little marina. And then we're also going to do a day at the beach. We're going to head to Bandon Beach, which is kind of the highlight of this town. There's a beautiful beach with all kinds of rock outcroppings out in the water. One of them actually called Face Rock. It looks like a, a giant face looking up into the sky. So. Stay tuned for that. I just saw tonight we just arrived, so we've headed down to this part of this, the state park. Has this old lighthouse, old historic lighthouse. It's not used anymore, but uh, they do do tours in the in the busy season. So we've come down here to take some photos. There's a couple of really long jetties that that head out into the ocean, quite picturesque. So yeah, uh, maybe I'll get on the other side of this lighthouse so you can get a little better look at it. There we go, that's a better look at it. Um, certain parts of the year they have tours and stuff, but it's kind of off season right now. Angie's sure happy to be back at the beach. Loves climbing on the driftwood and running down the beach. So anyway, like I say, I'll give you a look at where we're camped and then we'll head into town. We're gonna take in the, the, the old historic district downtown and then we wanna go to the beach supposed to be beautiful. We're here in mid-April. It's actually going to be uh, 75 degrees on Sunday, so we're looking forward to that. We're going to do a day at the beach sort of thing, so uh, stay tuned. Looks like seals. Here's our spot at the Bullards Beach State Park and near Bandon, Oregon. See how we're tucked right in there into the forest. It looks like it's hard to get into but actually these uh, spots are all angled so it's uh, not too bad backing the rig in. There's enough room for the slide. We're in a spot that uh, was uh, 42 feet long I think but uh, our rig's 45 and we were able to tuck in there and enough to get the truck in there and out of the way. So not too bad. Um, I reserved it online. If you go to Reserve America, you can actually get a map of the campground and find out which uh, sites are available and reserve them. Um, the water and electric site that we're in was $26. We booked for three days and I think the reservation fee was eight bucks. So not too bad, especially considering the, how nice these parks are. They're so well kept really pretty inside and I think they have showers, hot showers and stuff like that. Good garbage, there's a dump station, I'll go and uh, give you a bit of footage of that. This loop alone I saw like five work campers <laughs> so they, they get volunteers to come in and uh, stay and help keep the park. I imagine they have a lot of lawn mowing to do. <laughs> okay, so Angie and I are going to head off for a little walk. I'm going to go find the beach. 
there's a trail that leads off of Loop B, and we'll go uh, check it out, give you a look along the way on our hike. So since we're just on water and electric at this park, we have to dump, but they have a really nice dump station with easy access. Come in here, do the deed here, and they have a nice big wide loop to get out. Awesome. Okay, so we're off for a little morning dog walk. I'm gonna take you out to the beach. This is called Pearl's Trail. 0.75 miles out to the beach. So we're gonna walk through the forest and some dunes. Super pretty right now. All the broom is in flower. So about a third of the way down the trail of the beach I've come across this nice little uh, lake or lagoon kind of in the, the bush. Beautiful. Hear the frogs croaking. Nice and quiet today. Like I say we're here in mid-April but today it's early morning it's gonna go up to 70 degrees today. Awesome. Great morning for a walk. Hey Angie, find the beach. Let's go. Get back up on the trail here. At first I thought this plant was broom, which is kind of a nasty weed, but I think it's something else. But some of the yellow flowers are uh, turning red too. Beautiful. Cool. Now we've hit a little boardwalk through this swampy part. Wow. Uh-oh. Looks like it's uh, a little bit flooded. Whew. Think we can make it, Angie, without going in the water. Yeah, these Oregon State Parks are mint. They really do a good job with them. Yeah, I think we can get by okay. There we go. Uh oh, ran out of boardwalk. Guess we're gonna have to get some wet feet, Angie. See if we can go around here. There we go. Like we've had a fair amount of rains lately. Come on. Jammed up on the tree. Oh yeah, we can make it. There we go. Whew. Kept the feet dry. Onward. One interesting thing about the, a lot of the Oregon State Parks on the coast is they allow horses and there's actually in this Bullard's Beach there's a special camp area where you can bring your horses so that's what the sign is hiking and horses. And you can see even some hoof prints in the path here as the horses make their way out to gallop on the beach. Well, it looks like we have another uh, a little walk away across the water. Getting close, I can hear the ocean. Oh no! Oh, that's going to be a pain. Well, if the video stops here, you'll know that the camera took a dunk. It's pretty cool flowers. And these trees. Neat. Ha! Not too bad. I don't think Angie fared as well. A little bit of muck on the undercarriage. Okay, let's go. Beach is awaiting. Okay, so we've emerged from the 
a little kind of pine marshy forest in there and we've uh, emerged onto a long section of grassy dunes just in front of the ocean. So a little path up, sandy path up and we should be over and we'll find ourselves the Pacific Ocean. Woohoo! Look at that. Miles of beautiful beach. Barely anybody on it. Looks like some good waves today. Rolling in. Nice. High tide too. Coming in pretty quick. Yeah, look how long that is. Awesome. Lots of driftwood, so there's been some uh, good storms lately. Are you ready to go down there, Angelina? Let's go. Come on, Angie. Remember when she was a puppy, she would just fly. Now she's over 13, so she's a little bit more uh, controlled. <laughs> right away, stops to smell something. That's how old dogs like us enjoy the beach. Check for food. So this is Bullard's Beach in front of the state park. Nice, uh, nice beach, but we want to head down to what they call Bandon Beach. Off in the distance here you'll see a bunch of rocks. And they stick out in the ocean. That's where we want to go. Go check that out. That's where the good photography is, especially around sunset. So spring's a great time to come to the Oregon coast. Everything's just starting to bloom. See this interesting I guess it's kind of a pine tree and how it uh, grows a new uh, a new flock of uh, needles cool okay well we're headed back it's a nice hike to the beach we have to get back get some breakfast worked up an appetite with this hike okay nice little hike out to the beach and back now we're back in the campground I'm walking through in uh, one of the loops that's closed, it's, they open it in the summer, but it gives you an idea of the size of the, the campsites. Uh, usually they're cleaned up a bit when they're in use, but you know, nice paved back ends. Over there you have your water and electric plug-ins, and you usually get a picnic table and a fire ring. And uh, nice space between each, each people, set of campers, and then a little bit of bush in between, so really pretty camping. So there, got my hike out of the way because when I'm in Bandon I tend to uh, eat a lot of seafood. <laughs> Keep the gut in check. Yesterday we went to a really nice a restaurant called Edgewaters, situated right on the, the river that out, goes out to the ocean. And uh, we ordered some appetizers there, had the best calamari I've ever had. And uh, rockfish tacos 
and a really nice bruschetta. So yeah, there's lots of great restaurants in Bandon. And we love seafood and after being in the desert for a while, I don't really trust much of the seafood there, but I just love it on the coast. So well, now we're going to head into town and uh, give you a look at Old Town Band and see what it's like in the cool little town district and uh, give you a shot of the marina and stuff like that. Beautiful day. Mm -hmm. 